Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. On this channel we talk about all things mum, baby and toddler and home life related and today we're going to show you some easy Christmas treats that you can do with your toddler. So today we are making white chocolate snowflakes and for this we have literally got white chocolate. Chocolate? chocolate? Mm -hmm. And what are they? And we've got pretzels and then we've just got some stuff to decorate them. So ideally we'd have white sprinkles, so we've got any, so we've got multicoloured ones and then some silver spray. So all of these are really easy. Like really easy to do because I'm not very good at baking. Baby girls just turn two. It does get a little bit disastrous. So first things we're gonna do, we've got the recipe says 200 grams of white chocolate. That seemed a little bit excessive Wait. for 36 no. pretzels. Yeah, pretzels. So we've actually got 175 grams of chocolate. I'm mm. gonna melt that now and then we'll get on with how to make them. Oh, did you want to do it? Sorry. <laughs> you do the next one. Right, you want to do the microwave? Yeah. Right, place the door up for me then. Right, so press microwave. And that one three times. Three. And start. Thank you. So, to microwave the chocolate, we're doing three lots of 30 seconds. So, like next second, then stir it, and then next second again. That seems to melt it quite well. Is that Zuma? Right, this is going to be hot. So you can touch. Right. right, so put it into a different bowl so that you don't burn yourself. More chocolate, please. More chocolate, please. I'm about to make the snowflakes. So now, what I need you to do is. Can you put all the pretzels in there for me? Can you put all the pretzels in the bowl? That's it. We could be here a while. One pretzel at a time is going in. That's it. You can put more than one in at a time. Any sort of cooking task with toddlers requires lots of patience. I don't have lots of patience. It's very, very difficult for me to just sit here and not do it for her. But we'll get there in the end. <laughs> you nearly got them all in. So I'm not sure if I said it at the beginning, 36 pretzels, because you have four per snowflake. Oh, we nearly done them all. Two to go. Yay. Right, can you give them a good stir for me? Stir them all in, cover them all in the chocolate. That's it. No, no, don't break them. You've got to stir them gently. Gently, 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 gently. Stir them all gently. That's it. You've got to cover them all in chocolate. All in chocolate. So now what we're going to do... Oh, no, I think one's broken. Oh, no. I've got a broken one. Oh, well. Never mind, we'll deal with that in a minute. Right, now we've got to make our snowflakes. So, what we've got to do is, yeah, with a fork, we've got to turn them into snowflakes. Do you want me to get you a fork so you can do some? You put them on this one, you put yours on there, Mum, you'll put hers on here. Jessie, do you need some help? Here we go. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> That's it. You put yours on there. Four. There we go. And so we sort of arrange them on in like a snowflake pattern. Are you making them into a pattern like mummies? So this is definitely going to be one of those trust the process things because they now go in the freezer for five minutes to set. Baby Bell's made hers. You do have to be a bit careful though because they break quite easily with an enthusiastic toddler. 
stirring and arranging but there we go so i was a little bit worried that these wouldn't come off the baking paper but they have and they've stuck together so now i've got to cover them in chocolate again do you want to you you do your ones mm -hmm. at this point baby girl is just eating all the pretzels mm -hmm. do you want to dip your pre pretzels in the chocolate so that we can decorate them do you want to take your pretzels and dip them in like that. Yeah. yeah, so do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. dip your pretzels in and put them back on there. So I've had to remelt the chocolate because it had gone like really, really thick and the first yeah. couple I tried don't look anything like snowflakes. But we've remelted the chocolate and done the rest of them. Then we used all the pretzels because they love roast a couple and she ate some. So now these are going back in the freezer. Oh. Is it hot? It's warm. It's definitely not hot. But baby bells don't need the third step because they're not sticking together so I'm just going to get her to decorate hers now. Do you want to dip the pretzels in? Dip them in. That's it. And then we can put some sprinkles on them. And that one. That's it. Make it all nice and chocolatey. So mine are back in the freezer. Baby bells are not in any sort of snowflake shape. So I'm not worried about the last step for hers. Right, are you eating it? So, give me your hand. And we'll put sprinkles on. Put sprinkles on your snowflakes, ready? Right, sprinkle them on your snowflakes. That's it. Put some more. Right, hold your hand like that. Cup your hand like that. <laughs> there we go. Right, pour your sprinkles on your snowflakes. Do they do, do shaker sprinkles? If anybody knows of any, please let me know because that's got to be easier than this. I can't just give her the pot because she'll tip it everywhere. Right, there we go. Right, do you want to spray them? You've got some glitter spray. I'm going to go and wash my hands. So, you spray. Can you do it? Got some glitter, silver glitter spray. That's it, squeeze it on. There we go. And that's it. There we go. There we go, that's baby bells, snowflakes. So they're gonna go in the fridge now for set. And then once mine are done, I'll try them in the freezer for another five minutes. I'll do the last step. Right, should we put yours away? Right, so this is what these have come out like. They're not very snowflakey at all. But these are the first two I did before I remelted the chocolate and they just kind of look, well, rubbish. But now we've got to make sure that they stay stuck together. So we've got to put a blob of chocolate in the middle. And then I'm also just going to spread a little bit more chocolate over them. I'm not going to put sprinkles on mine, I'm just going to use the silver glitter spray. I actually don't think I trust the process anymore, these do not look like snowflakes. But they are now going to go in the fridge. So I've got to admit these are less snowflakes and more mess, but baby, baby Belle enjoyed making them. So there they are. They don't look very sparkly in this light. The light in the kitchen is awful. They do taste good though. Mm. Just get your apron on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So today we are making reindeer poo. I do. Reindeer poo. So it's just chocolate, cocoa pops and peanut butter. Baby Belle likes chocolate and she thinks poo is funny. So that's what we're going to go with today. Let's roll your sleeves up out of the way. <laughs> you got your apron on. So this recipe is in, it's in American, so it's all like cups, which I've tried to convert into grams, but it doesn't really make sense because they need to keep them up. Fine. Um, it doesn't make sense because it would appear that I need 100 grams of peanut butter and like 500 grams of cocoa pops, which is quite a lot. So I think I'm probably gonna do what I normally do when I cook stuff and wing it, make it up as I go along, we'll just see how it goes. Right, are we ready? I'll leave like a link to the recipe, the actual recipe below. And then I'll leave like what we use as well, because obviously ours isn't gonna be the same. So first of all, this is 200 grams of chocolate, just a bar of plain cheap chocolate, uh, not plain chocolate, milk chocolate from 
Aldi minus four squares because we've eaten four, so we've got about 175 pounds in there. And we're going to we're going to put it in the microwave. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Right. Can you come and do the microwave for me then, please? Can you close it up? Right. So I need you to press that one. Right now, that one three times. One, two, and again three. And the start button. <laughs> Beep beep. Right, let me stir it because it's going to get hot in a minute. Okay, let's watch it because it's going to get hot. Close it up for me then, please. Beep <laughs> baby. Pour this into as big a bowl as possible to minimise the amount of mess that Baby Bell will make with it. Me and Yeah, right. Me and Peanut butter in. That's it. In the bowl. There we go. That's it. Don't, draw, don't dip it in. Not yet. Right, bit more peanut butter. There we go. Baking. Baking. You doing the baking? Give that a big stir for me then. Okay. Give that all a big stir. There. Right. 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 Have you given it a good stir? Right, ready? There we go. That's a big stir. Right, is it all stirred? Yeah, we can do a quick stir. We need to put this back in the microwave now. It says a minute in the recipe, but that looks like it could be a bit much. So, we are going to do 30 seconds, okay? Right, do you want to do it? So, press that one for me. Me and start. That's it. There we go. Right, let's move you along a bit. So now we've got to measure out our cocoa pops. Cocoa pops. Mm. It looks like a lot of cocoa pops. So yeah, one cup is like 50 grams. So probably don't need like 500 grams of cocoa pops. Right, don't touch for a moment. That's not hot, that's good. Okay, cocoa pops in. That's it, just the cocoa pops. Thank you. Right, don't so put your fingers in there. We'll give them a stir in a minute. Get some more cocoa pops. Are those cocoa pops in? That's it. Right, should we give it a stir with a spoon? Oh, we've got chocolate all over the cupboard. I'm going to wash my hands. That's it, give it a good stir for me. <laughs> Don't worry about those. You put that down for a minute and give, that's it, give it all a good stir. Stir it all up. That's it. Cocoa Pops and chocolate. And peanut butter. Spinning round. Spinning round. I struggle. Spoon. Right, is it all done? Is it all mixed? So now, we've got to turn them into balls. Right, baby, I'll show you what you're going to do. You're going to scoop it up. And then, that's it, once you hand it away, don't get your hands away a bit, please. And then, there we go. Do you want to do one? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's it, big scoop. Do you want some help with the big scoop? That's it, one there. Do some more. 
Okay, big scoop. Big scoop on there. That's it. There we go. So we are obviously going to need more plates, but now we're going to put this in the fridge for an hour and that's them done. Mm -hmm. There we go. I have no idea what reindeer poo looks like, but that's it all done. Don't poke it about, please. So we'll pop it in the fridge and see how it turns out. Reindeer poo. <laughs> reindeer poo. Right, so today we are going to attempt to make sugar cookies. This is another thing that I've never made before. I don't ever remember baking cookies when I was a kid. You got cookie cutters? So, we're gonna have a go. I've got my little recipe printed out here. So, there you go. I haven't got the butter out of the fridge. The recipe, which I'll post in the comments, calls for 225 grams of butter, but I'm gonna halve it because I haven't got enough flour. Very, very organized. Butter. Do you want to help me cut it? Do you want to help me cut the butter? Yeah. Right, you get that. So you need to do it there. That's it, big push. <laughs> right, my first tip is remember to get your butter out of the fridge because otherwise it's going to be like rock solid. But we're now going to measure this out. Can you pull that in the bowl for me? Move the bowl over here so you can get it. That's it. That's it. All in. Oh, on your hand. Put that in as well. There we go. Right, tip that bit in too. That's it. What about this bit? There we go. Right. Now you need to mix it. Yeah. Give it a good stir. I think this bit is going to take probably about half an hour. So I'll pause the food. So the recipe says, are you eating it? <laughs> the recipe says cream and butter and sugar together until it's all as white as possible. Now, we don't have a stand mixer. We're not exactly geared up for baking in this house. We had to do it all by hand, so it's not going to be... Eat it. It's not going to be white. It's just going to have to stay like that. This is an egg. Right, so you've got to tap the egg on the side. Tap it on the side. Right, now you've got to open the egg up. That's it. <laughs> Don't squash it like that. Right, hang on, let mummy start it for you. Right, ready? Right, open it up then. That's it. Oh, there's a tiny bit of shell in there. That's well, kind of to be expected, right? This bit's got to go in the bin. That was Baby Bell's first attempt at cracking an egg, and actually, that didn't go too badly at all. Should we give that a good mix? Let me do some. Yeah. No? Oh, okay. Mm. You tap it then. That's it. Tap, tap. There we go. That's it. Ooh. That's it. Tap, tap. Oh, there we go. Look, it's going in. That's it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. There we go, all done. Give it a big stir for me. I'm not actually sure that there's going to be any to turn into cookies because maybe I was eating it. So now it says, once it's all mixed together, we've got to roll the dough into a bowl and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do now. The baby girls decided that playing with trains is more important than doing the cookies. So I've rolled the dough out and I'm going to try and convince her to come in and cut the cookie shapes out at least. We'll see. What we're going to do, you're going to push that in there. Push it, push it in. That's it. Use both hands. Push it in. There we go. Right, go and take it out. Again there? Mm. That's it. You did it. Another star. Yeah, do you want to make another star? Twinkle. 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 Twin
see how they turn out. Okay, I'm gonna put a picture up of what they look like on the recipe because they did not look like this. I don't understand why these ones are spread spread out and the ones on the recipe haven't. But there we go, they're cooked. They taste them, see what they're like. John figured it out. They obviously used the cookie cutters <laughs> afterwards. So there we go, there's the little tip. Just cook them whatever shape you want and then use the cookie cutters while they're still warm. Hey guys, they are our three, I say easy to make the toddlers, it's, it's all new to me as well, so we're just making it up as we go along. But as usual, really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you do, don't forget to leave us a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button. Than